doing okay? Good. A couple of years ago, uh, my name is Bill Wilson, and Jerry's a longtime friend of mine. Forty-eight years. <clears throat> but I swore I would never do this again because I get too shook up. In Jerry's case, I had to do it. They don't make them like Jerry anymore. First time I ever met him was 1962. He was the manager of a little radio station down in South Georgia. I thought I had learned how to pronounce, so I went to try to get a job with Jerry. He was out in the field, had a manhunt going on. So he was out in the um, field in this uh, radio stations, station wagon, which was a 1958 Edsel. <laughs> said, Man, this is uptown, buddy. We're riding around in the cornfield in an Edsel <laughs> looking for some crook, some criminal. So he gave his little report. Back then, you, you could do it on a two-way radio, and they were looking for him, hadn't found him. But anyway, we start talking then about working together. And he says, how much money you got to have? So I'm smart aleck. I almost said the other word. How much am I worth, Jerry? <laughs> He looked at me and he said, what you worth wouldn't buy groceries. <laughs> and that was my first taste of reality in life. One of them. But he gave me a chance. Jerry opened doors for many people. Thank God I was one of them. But he always had this attitude about anything in life, anything in any relationship with people, if it's not a win-win for everybody, it's not worth doing. Consequently, whatever job that I ever saw was a win-win. I can personally attest to it. And to his beautiful, loving family, God bless you. <clears throat> 